Something dynamic happens, man, where in, it says, in the presence of God is fullness of joy. You know what else is in the presence of God? The presence of God speaks of the throne room. The tree of life mm. is in there. So do you know what happens when your heart connects with Abba? You're living face to face with God. And whenever this world comes against you and your heart cries out, Abba, you're face to face. You're in the throne room looking at Abba in the face. He's embracing you. There's fullness of joy in life mm. in that place. No matter what has come against you prior to that. Right? God knows that. And so he's trying to influence us into the place where we see ourselves in there, face to face. Right? right? Yeah. Where we don't just say, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was face to face with God. And the Word was God. And the Word, no, we say, in the beginning was God's dream that he could have union with man and that man could be face to face with God. Right. And we start seeing ourselves inside of that. And our whole lives become born from that. And then we function as a person with a heart after God's own heart. It just means we see God's heart towards us and what it has always been. And now our heart is the same as his heart. Response, yeah. Right? Our heart responds. That is a better way of saying yeah. it. Yeah. And then we engage with God right. in that place. But in that, in that picture, it's so easy to see how we get distracted. You know, we're we're face to face with God, and all of a sudden, I hear something over here, right? And off we go over there, and then you come. Oh no, got to come back and come back, and something gets you over here. And yeah. it, it's yeah. a great, great picture for me to be able to understand. You know, just stay focused. Yeah. <laughs> stay focused. And, 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 right, there's no lack. Yeah, that's right. And that's one of the reasons why we hear. We hearken yes. diligently. Yes. Listen, God wasn't of the mind that, well, you only need to hear once and then you don't need to hear anymore. <laughs> and, you know, you can search all over and hear whoever. Right. <laughs> That's right. No, no, no. He had the Israelites wrap his word around their arm and around their head that they might see it every day. Right. Hearken diligently. Because Unto you're going the to Lord get distracted. Your God. <laughs> yes, right. Because we're in a world that's all the time trying to get us to make our flesh the food for life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so hearken diligently. That's Shema Shema. Mm -hmm. Hear and keep on hearing. So yeah, we're in a world that's all the time going to try to distract us from the word of life. Yes. And when we are hearing the word of life, guess what that word of life does? It attacks the distraction. It shrinks the distraction. But if we're not ever going to hear the word of life, God, because after all, we've heard it, you know? <laughs> we have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. Yeah, right. 